In this video, I will demonstrate navigation of the host page. The solid theme organizes the host page into four columns. The navigation panel, the session group panel, the session list, and the details panel. The first column is the navigation panel. From here, click the logo to view the guest page. Under the logo are the session types, support, meeting, or access. Click the admin icon to access the administration page. Integrations and extensions can be accessed from the extensions icon in the tray. Next, we've moved the user icon to a tray in the lower left corner. Click it to open the toolbox, give feedback, contact support, and more. The second column is the session group panel. From here, you can create support and meeting sessions and build access installers. Sessions are displayed in groups that can be organized by such attributes as company name, location, operating system, and much more. You can create a new session group by clicking Create Session Group. The third column is the session list. This panel displays the name and connection status of all the sessions within a group. Click to select one or multiple sessions from the list. Use the Command Panel or right-click menu to join, edit, run tool, etc. Additionally, hosts can search for sessions using information such as name, IP address, operating system, or host username, among other things. The last panel is the details panel. This panel includes both informational and actionable tabs. The start tab lets you rename and invite a guest to join a session. The General tab provides general information about the remote machine. The Timeline tab gives a visual representation of key events during a session. To fetch more details, simply hover over Events. From the Messages tab, you can chat with a guest. Use the Commands tab to execute commands on the remote machine. In the Notes tab, add a note to a session. That's it. This concludes the host page video. To learn more, be sure to visit our documentation at connectwise.com slash control docs. Thanks.